right, so here's our new 210 gallon aquarium. Uh, we just upgraded. I bought this used off of Craigslist. Um, we had a 92 gallon corner saltwater tank. Um, it was a Fowler tank and we just set this up about a little over a month ago now. Um, really enjoying it so far. Got a really good deal on it. Nice um, cherry stand and canopy. Got the overflows and everything. The sump and everything came with it. So was real happy with it. Um, I moved all of the water. I had about probably 110 gallons of water in my 92 gallon system. There's Annie. She wants to say hi. Come here, Annie girl. Come on. Go lay down. Anyway, uh, used all of that water out of there. I had that tank set up for about five years and uh, used all the live rock and live sand out of there. Got about probably close, a little over 100 pounds of live rock in here. Um, haven't got very many fish yet. Um, tank didn't really cycle too much because it was uh, only about a 50% water change is what it equivalent to. Um, and um, with all the live rock and live sand that I moved over, didn't have, haven't really had any spikes in anything. So right now, like I said, plan is to keep it as a Fowler tank for now. Can't really afford to do a reef tank, but just uh, start getting some fish here pretty soon. Got some cheap fake jellyfish in the back. My little girls like those, so they got them as stocking stuffers this year for Christmas. But So that's the tank now. Got two overflows there in the back. Um, I've just got two Maxi Jet power heads on here right now. I think here when we get our tax money back, I'm going to get some of those um, Vortec pumps that go on here. Move some water um, a little bit better than these do. I think I might get some LED lights too. Right now I just have a, have a couple of T5s up there. Um, for filtration, like I said, this came with the system. I've got... Um, oops, sorry about that. I've got one return right there comes from underneath the tank. And another return over there that goes into the wet dry filter. Let me get a little light shining over there, see if that helps at all. Um, so it drains down in there, comes down. Just got this baby. Sold my old tank and pretty much paid for that. It's a Diablo um, protein skimmer made by Reef Octopus. I've only had it up for a couple days. As you can see, we're already starting to get some decent skimmate in there, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, at first it was a little loud for the first couple hours. And then I repositioned it, and I've actually been very happy. It's not too loud at all, so. Um, I went the cheap route because I already had two um, return pumps. Uh, they can each go about 750 gallons an hour. So I've got about 1,500 gallons an hour that I'm pumping back into the tank. Um, and then, of course, over here, the refugium spills over into that. I've just got some basic chato algae, a couple pieces of live rock down in there. And then over here, a little bit of carbon, and there's the other drain. And then just a UV sterilizer right there. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the setup. Everything seems to be working well. I've learned a lot through doing this. Um, but... As anybody who's watching this probably knows, it's definitely a hobby and you have to enjoy it or it, it just won't be worth it. So, um, Right now in here, I've got a black trigger. It likes to hide once the night lights come on. And one of the white T5s just kicked off. Got a couple percula clowns. A few wrasses that like to hide in the sand. And then um, I think four green chromas in there. Everybody's doing good. Water quality's, like I said, just about perfect right now. So you can see some calcium build up there on the back. The guy that I got it off of used it as a reef tank, and then moved had to move overseas. So he just needed to get rid of it quick. So worked out for me. But um, 
soon here I'll be posting another video I'm going to uh, set up with this tank he gave me a Tunzi auto top off system so I'm going to be setting that up and I'll uh, kind of walk you guys through that I think it's going to be pretty easy but um, I know I've learned a lot from videos of other people posting stuff so I figure I'll return the favor and hopefully it can help a few people out so thanks for watching